welcome YouTubers, it's Cardo. Just letting you know, I'm going to do a quick, uh, well, I don't think I ever have a quick video, but I'm going to do a little video on the Milwaukee Compact Mid Torque One Key Model 2554-20. Uh, supposedly this unit has 250 pounds of nut busting torque. Doesn't specify fastening torque, but Milwaukee claims it has 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch unit, mind you. I also, and that's it right there. In fairness to the tool, it is a 3 8 inch and I'm going to be using it with a half inch adapter. So that will lose some torque, I, I realize that. Here we have the Milwaukee one-half inch compact one key and this one is model 2579 B-20 this one spec state has 220 foot-pounds of fastening torque and that has a 5 amp hour battery yeah mind you I'm going to let you know that I'm going to try it first with the compact battery the stubby model that's a, a 2 amp hour battery and then right next to it over there is the 4 amp hour battery. I know a lot of people on YouTube say, or comments when you go to uh, Home Depot or wherever you buy one from, any uh, authorized dealer I would recommend if you want the Milwaukee warranty. But um, they all specify the battery has nothing to do with it. And I've even, even seen the company weigh in on that, saying that the battery just um, gives you longevity of use, has nothing to do with power. So let's just see if that's true. Again, there's a I'm sorry, 22 millimeter socket uh, for the Gen 3 old uh, Honda Odyssey van here. And um, the wheels are torqued at 94 foot pounds. I'm sorry, I'm not going to break out a torque wrench. I know that's the right way to do it, but I just uh, worked on an axle nut removal about a week ago, and these, these uh, wheels are torqued at 94 foot pounds, I could assure you. So we're going to start with that and see where it leads us. Okay, 94 foot-pounds. And let's see if the stubby can do it. Full battery. 2 amp hour red lithium CP 2.0. Let's go on speed three. We're in reverse. Struggled a bit, but it did it. Let's try another one. One, one a little easier. Let's try it with the 4 amp hour battery. Red Lithium XC 4.0. Fully charged. So far about the same, maybe a little easier. Okay, I'm just going to pause it. Well, I'm not going to pause it. We're going to try this one now. I think that one will work a lot better because it is the half inch anvil as opposed to the 3 8 inch anvil on the stubby. So here we have the one key. Very nice impact 5 amp hour battery. Power 4. reverse fully charged battery power 4 this should zip it right off 
Okay, a little better. I wonder what the real difference is between these two tools. Again, this one's rated at 220 fastening, and the stubby is rated at 250 nut busting, 3 8 inch anvil, half inch anvil. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. We may try to remove a wheel, um, a caliper, a brake caliper mount bracket, and that should be torqued at about 103, I believe, on this car, and it is secure. It's kind of off in terms of my comments so far about the battery, because last week I took a wheel off, and with the lower, the 2 amp um, hour battery on the stubby, it wouldn't do it, and the 4 amp, it zipped it off a lot easier. So, so far that's not playing into what we're doing today. But let's try the stubby first. Fully charged. Let's get on there. Did it. Broke it loose. It did it. It's a pretty powerful little impact, this stubby. I'm going to put a little extension on this because I just want to get back to here see if it works with a longer extension. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit and then try the bottom one with the compact one key. I'm going to use the self-fastening mode. I'm going to use the um, precision wrench mode where it's just going to stop once it starts hammering. Perfect. Stops immediately. Very well engineered tool. I'm going to try the bottom one with the compact one key just to loosen it. It's tight. It's loose. Let's go. Let's try it again. There we go. No problem. And that one loosened it too. So, so far it's tough to gauge which tool has more power. I'd have to think the half inch compact with the larger anvil is hammering a little harder than the stubby. But performance-wise, they're both getting these these jobs done with uh, relative ease. Right, I'm just going to finish these off with a 22 millimeter speed one. On each is about the same. I would say about 60 to 70 foot pounds of torque. I'll do I'll do two. One of them is a wheel lock. Wouldn't want anyone taking anything for my baby. But um, you know, those are my new snows on there. But one's a wheel lock. And um, that's why I'm only going to do four. But I'll do two with the mid torque compact, two with the stubby on speed one, and uh, then I'll finish it off with a torque wrench and conclude the vid. Pittsburgh socket goes on very easily. It's a little too loose. And that's a wrap. Which one's for you? You have to decide. Both very solid impacts. You're not going to go wrong with e either one, but I, I still would think this one basically replaced that one.